Honestly, looking back on it, it's pretty crazy to think that the Montreal Canadiens are now headed to their first Stanley Cup final since 1993, where they were victorious in the Stanley Cup and won the 24th in the history of the franchise. Looking back at the first round of the playoffs, I'm not going to lie to you, I didn't have much confidence in the Montreal Canadiens when they were down 3-1 to the Toronto Maple Leafs in the opening round of the playoffs. But this team has shown so much character and so much grit and determination throughout the Stanley Cup playoffs that they absolutely have earned their berth in the Stanley Cup final this year, regardless of what anyone else has to say about that matter. So how have the Montreal Canadiens gotten to this point? Well, it started with a victory over their biggest rivals in round one after being down 3-1 to the Toronto Maple Leafs. And then it moved on to round two with a very convincing sweep of the Winnipeg Jets before coming into their biggest challenge yet, which was the Vegas Golden Knights. And they handled the Vegas Golden Knights in six games, where the Montreal Canadiens were arguably the better team in four of those six games. And it really ultimately showed in the final box score where the Habs came out on top by a score of 3-2 in game six with a beautiful game winning goal by Arturi Lekanen. And can we talk about what a perfect offensive play that was by Phil Deneau. He doesn't get a lot of credit offensively for what he does for for this Montreal Canadiens team but that line with Gallagher, Deneau and Lekin has been fantastic in this series once again he shut down Mark Stone this series they shut down Austin Matthews in round one and they shut down the Winnipeg Jets in round two and this line deserves so much credit for the success that the Montreal Canadiens are currently having. The Montreal Canadiens are where they are right now for four main reasons and it starts down the middle of the ice where the Montreal Canadiens are as strong as they have been in recent memory. You have the two kids in Jesperi Kakaniemi and Nick Suzuki and then you have the more veteran presences in Philip Deneau and Eric Stahl. Stahl has performed above expectations this postseason. He wasn't good in the regular season. Everyone knows that for this Montreal Canadiens team but he has been fantastic in the playoffs along with that fourth line of Corey Perry and Yoel Armia and that line really has established a nice cycle in every single series that they've played in so far in the playoffs and that really has helped the Montreal Canadiens get to where they are right now. Now we've talked about a few of the reasons the Montreal Canadiens have found success in the playoffs and those are the veteran presence that they have up front and on the back end as well and then the depth down the middle of the ice with the emergence of the young kids as well. Those are two of the bigger reasons why they found success but you can't forget about the big four on defense that's been as formidable as ever in Ben Chirot, Shea Weber, Jeff Petrie and Joel Edmondson. They're tough, they're strong, they're mean, they're big, they're everything you want in a back end. Of course, you'd like them to move the puck a little bit better, but in the postseason when space is so tight, you really only need them to make that really good first pass, and they've been able to keep opponents out of the middle of the ice, and that's been key in the Montreal Canadiens advancing to the Stanley Cup final. Lastly, where would the Montreal Canadiens be without their elite goaltender in Carey Price? He's really stepped up and proven that he still has a ton of game left in the tank. And you can tell how badly he wants this. Look at his celebration after the Montreal Canadiens won in overtime in Game 6 last night. You could tell this means the world to Carey Price. And he's really playing well on the biggest stage in hockey right now. You could argue that Vasilevsky is right up there with him as well. And that could be the goalie matchup in the Stanley Cup Final, which would be a great one. But this is exactly what Carey Price can bring to the table for this Habs team. And he's performed so well for them in the postseason this year. You really look at some of the key stops that he makes in games. Look at the stop in overtime on former Habs captain Max Pacioretty. That essentially saves this game six for the Habs. And Carey Price looks so calm and composed in doing so. This is a goaltender that is clearly on a mission. And he won't stop until he lifts the Stanley Cup for the Habs. That's it for me today from Cook's Corner. As always, comment down in the comment section down below. Let me know how surprised you are or if you're even surprised that the Montreal Canadiens are now advancing to the Stanley Cup final to take on one of the Tampa Bay Lightning or the New York Islanders. I'm Zach Cook. We'll see you later.